Hello friends and welcome to the channel. My name is Hannah and I'm a software developer living here in Accra. I am going to be sharing with you a software developer roadmap that you can actually practice in this year 2023 to help you land a job in software engineering. I'm going to be focusing on front-end development because that is a field that I am most proficient in and I have a lot of experience in that. So let's get right into today's video. So there are two types of developers, those who have a computer science degree and those who do not. Probably you are thinking that only people who have a computer science degree can work in tech and that is a big lie because I currently work with someone who works as a back-end developer and does not have a computer science degree. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an easy route for people who have a computer science degree and also people who do not have a computer science degree. As some of you may already know, I have a computer science degree. For the stack that I currently use for work, I learned them on my own. So I can definitely understand if you're a self-taught developer. People who have a computer science degree actually find themselves to have an easy route in landing a job because the computer science degree gives you enough exposure into a lot of fields in tech that you can actually maneuver your way into after school. The downside of having a computer science degree is that it doesn't complete your whole process or the whole expertise that is needed to have a tech job. So let's say you come out of school having a computer science degree. It doesn't necessarily prepare you to take on a front-end developer role because whatever you are taught in school is not enough to equip you to become a front-end developer. You still have to learn more things to call yourself a front-end developer. If we are considering the roles of people who do not have a computer science degree, even though it may be difficult, I find that it's very straightforward because then if you have an idea of what you are looking to become, you just go straight to it and try to put in as much effort as you can. Having a computer science degree may not necessarily be a bad option for you. It presents a lot of opportunities for people who are looking for internships, volunteering opportunities or even first-hand opportunities to try out their skills in tech you can actually have recommendations from lecturers or any opportunities that may be presented to the department with a computer science degree when you come out of school you have a lot of exposure into programming languages you can then decide to learn just a framework to add up to the skills that you already have because the computer science degree introduces you to the topic of html css and a little bit of javascript well, I think this is a global problem because JavaScript is not taught in schools, but then they will still give you an idea of what the language is about. From school, you can then decide to learn a framework, get good at it, and then try to find your way into landing a job. For people who do not have a computer science degree but want to become front-end developers, first of all, you have to ask yourself this question that are you really interested in the aesthetics of a website? If the answer is yes, then please continue watching this video. If the answer is yes, then you'd have an idea of which route you are going into, which means that you can start your HTML, you can start your CSS, and you can start your JavaScript. Learning HTML and CSS is actually not a problem here because they are very basic things that you can learn at a go. You can literally learn HTML in just a month and another month learning CSS. It's really unnecessary trying to learn all the HTML tags in the world. It's literally impossible. I have no idea the thousands of HTML tags that are available, but I know the ones that I need. So just get familiar with the basic ones and go ahead to move on to the next step of the ladder. So CSS is just a design tool that helps you with the styling of a web application. And when it comes to CSS, unlike HTML, knowing the basics is just not enough. Getting better at your skill in designing and animation and all these aesthetic combinations can help you leverage your step in getting better in front-end development. So say you are learning CSS, don't just focus on the colors. Try to find out how you can be able to incorporate other gradients or other design combinations to make your website look very, very appealing to a recruiter. When it comes to JavaScript, it's a very common language and you would find a lot of resources on the internet about how to go about it. I'll share with you later on in today's video some website that you can use to be able to learn these skills. You can start with the basics, but then also, like I said, some of these basic things are not necessarily what recruiters are looking for. You also have to advance in your step in learning JavaScript. There are lots of frameworks available, React, Angular, Vue. 
the common of them happens to be react which i currently use in my field of work and i will recommend it to you because it's actually a very common framework that is available on the internet for you to learn and it's also a high in demand skill that is expected of people who are looking for front-end jobs meaning that recruiters are really certain for lots of react developers so that is the reason i would choose react over every other framework available so then when it comes to react it's actually a very good tool for you to be able to hook your recruiter's attention on your linkedin profile i must say that learning the basics of react is actually better than learning an advanced skill of just javascript that is why you have to take into consideration the kind of things that you put a lot of time into so if you are putting a lot of time into javascript with no react that is actually an imbalance but if let's say i'm putting five percent of my time into react and let's say just a little about five percent into javascript that is a good leverage for you now that frameworks are out of the way let's think about how to land a job as a front-end developer becoming a front-end developer is actually a very difficult thing if you don't know it's very difficult because of its competitive nature there are lots of people within that field who have the same skill set as you and probably looking for the same job as you so then you have to be very strategic in your search for a job as a front-end developer first of all people have to see what you are doing make sure that you are publicizing the work that you are doing so say i come up with my first design on html and css just html and css no javascript at all putting that website in let's say a social network group or on linkedin will actually take you a step above other people because keeping your project to yourself that's you know good but trying to publicize that website that you have done with just HTML and CSS gives recruiters the idea that you are on a journey to become a front-end developer and one advice I would give to you is that people are watching and you never know where your recruiter may come from I happen to find my recruiter for my current job on LinkedIn and it was because I was posting regularly on LinkedIn and showing my work on LinkedIn I was posting the projects that I was doing on my github and linking it onto my linkedin profile so you are looking for a job and you are keeping your website and your projects to yourself how am i going to know that you are looking for a job but put that website or put that application no matter what it is or how small it is put it on linkedin or any application at all twitter whatever it is and just show your work and show the progress of the work that you're doing you may never know where your repeater is coming from like I promised, these are resources that you can be able to use to learn front-end development. First of all on my list is Team Treehouse, Google Coursera, and then also Udemy. When it comes to websites that help you to be able to try out your front-end skills, I will recommend frontendmentor.io, which I'm going to be listing a lot more in my description. So do well to check it out. Thank you so much for watching up to this point. Do well to subscribe to the channel as we are growing and like this video so that I can be able to reach more viewers on YouTube. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.